Okay. Uh, we have we have a uh, so suppose we have uh, 1,900 square centimeters of material available to make a box with a square base and an open top. Find the largest possible volume. Okay, so uh, let's write some stuff down. So what we're looking for is the maximum volume of a box with a square base. Okay, so let me try to draw a box. Uh, let's make it a green box. So, box like this. Uh, you already know that I'm not very good at drawing, so... but this is my box and so here this is the, the bottom of the box and this top is open here okay um, so that's my box and since it has a square base well um, that means that the uh, the sides of the box are going to equal each other and then the height might be different the height is allowed to change okay um, so once we have everything labeled um, we notice that uh, we need to write down a formula for the uh, volume since that's what we're trying to maximize so the volume of this box is going to be L squared times H. Okay, and then to maximize, to find the maximum, we need to find the derivative of the volume. But the problem, as usual, is that we have uh, two variables. So we need to do a little extra work over here on the side. Um, we need to use something that we're given um, to write down one of these variables in terms of the other. And what I have is this uh, 1900 square centimeters. So I'm going to use that. So the, um, the surface area of this um, cone, if you imagine all the different sides separately, um, notice that we, the box, the top is open. So we don't need anything there. Um, so what we're going to have is the bottom part, which the area is L squared, plus um, the front and the back, which is going to, so we're going to have 2L times H. And then we have two uh, sides, which is another 2LH. Okay. And so then we have the area is equal to um, L squared plus 4LH. Okay, but we know the area is 1900 square centimeters, so we have 1900 equals L squared plus 4LH. Okay, and then, uh, well, we can solve for H here. Um, we would just bring subtract L squared from both sides and then after we've done that um, we can divide by 4L so what we would get is that H is equal to 1900 minus L squared all over 4L and this we can go ahead and plug it into this guy and that, that'll give us a formula for the volume with just one variable. So let's plug that in. So we're going to have volume equals L times 1900 minus L squared over 4L. Okay, so before I find the derivative and critical points and, and all that stuff, uh, notice that one of these L's on top can can cancel with one of those, um, so I get V equals 
1900, if I uh, distribute 1900 L, 1900 over 4 L minus L cubed. Okay, and then 1900 over 4, um, this is a 475. So let's just keep that in mind. Okay, and then remember what you do is um, we, we set this guy, oops, sorry. Okay, and then um, once we have the formula for the volume, well, we need to find the derivative. Um, so the derivative of this guy is going to equal um, 475 minus 3L squared. Okay, I forgot here. Um, forgot to divide this guy by 4 up here. Ay, ay, ay. So this is actually 3 fourths L squared. Okay, so then if I solve for L here, what I'm going to get is that L is equal to the square root of 475 times 4 over 3. 3 so this is 1900 square root of 1900 over 3 okay and um, this is a uh, so this is my only critical point and if you do the uh, first derivative test you'll see that this is actually a maximum um, but I'll let you do uh, that step. Now, um, here what I'm looking for is not the length that gives me the maximum volume, but the actual maximum volume itself. And, well, to do that, all I really need to do, you can, if you want, um, plug this length into... Um, this formula to find h and then plug the, both of those into that formula but, but I already have a simplified formula for the volume involving just uh, L so I'm, I'm just going to use that one so what I have is this guy is 475 times the square root of 1900 over 3 minus the square root of 1900 over 3 cubed. This guy divided by 4. And if I do that I get approximately um, 7,969.237. Okay, that's it.